This is the Six Sports Desk. So far this season, the Detroit Lions have been in some good battles at home that came down to the final minutes of the game. Well, on the road against former Michigan State quarterback Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings this afternoon, some of those last-minute habits decided that they didn't want to die just yet. Let's take it to the fourth quarter. Three-point lead for the Lions. 114 left on the clock. Dan Campbell decided to rely on kicker Austin Seibert because on the drive before, he went for it on fourth down and couldn't convert. But Seibert's career high is from 53 yards out. This one is from 54, and it's wide right. So the Vikings and Kirk Cousins get another Another drive to try to make something happen. And from 28 yards out, with a pressure in his face, Cousins finds KJ Osborne to retake the lead with just 45 seconds left in the game. One last gasp for the Lions to Jared Goff as he gets pushed out of the pocket and just chucks it up for anyone downfield. And it's intercepted by Michigan alum Josh Metellus as the Vikings would go on to win it 28 to 24 the final. And head coach Dan Campbell wishes he had a, made a different decision on that fourth down. Defense, you know, we got to eliminate some of these penalties. We knew they're explosive offense. They got weapons over there, and uh, we knew it would be ebbs and flows of the game. And uh, you know, we had our chance to end and close it out. As far as I, for me, I, I freaking regret my decision there at the end. I should have gone for it, fourth down, and uh, you know, I told the team that I should have gone for it. So. Michigan State's football team also walked off the field this weekend with a loss to a team from Minnesota. And after making a stop at the Duffy Doherty practice facility this morning, Jaden Reed and Xavier Henderson made their way to Lansing Everett High School. Now, the two were camp instructors for the Next Gen Youth Football Camp and were teaching their knowledge of the game to about 60 athletes ranging from the ages of 8 to 18. The campers came from all over the state and even one drove from Chicago to see the Spartans. This was an NIL opportunity for Reed and Henderson, and when Next Gen reached out, they didn't say yes because of the money. I love to do things like this anyway, you know, getting out here in front of the kids and stuff like that. You know, these guys look up to me. I, I've been here in their shoes, you know, at one point. So I just love doing stuff like this. It seemed like a good opportunity to, because um, I really, I've been in Lansing for this, going my fifth year. And I, I, it's my first time really coming to a high school. So it's, it's cool. Living in Lansing, of course, primarily, you know, a go green city, you know, so uh, a lot of the kids are enjoying them and seeing their faces and, you know, they're doing a great job interacting with the kids. Well, staying in East Lansing, the MSU women's soccer team is coming off a scoreless draw on Thursday night. And today, the Spartans and head coach Jeff Hostler and his squad were looking to extend their unbeaten streak to five matches. As they welcome the Boilermakers to town for a three for, for their game, a third game of Big Ten play. Purdue would notch the first one just 13 minutes into the half, but the Spartans weren't going down that easy. Ruby Diabata. And she sends that win absolute bullet from the corner. Justina uh, Gaynor uses the head to send this one straight back to the net to score this, tie this one up at one. And the score would stay that way until the 52nd minute when sophomore Jordan Wicks finds, will find the back of the net. The Spartans add one more goal to seal the deal. Michigan State tops Purdue 3 to 1, the final, a comforting win for the Green and White before they hit the road on Wednesday for a two. Uh, two tough matches in the Big Ten. Yeah, it's huge because, you know, I don't think we played our best first halves the last two times out. So uh, despite conceding the goal, I still think we started well. We controlled tempo, territory, possession. The, with this team, every time we kind of have our backs against the wall, our things haven't gone the way we thought they could. They have responded every single time. The Michigan State volleyball team has been spending the weekend in the New York, New Jersey area, tweeting out that the whole team was spending some time in Times Square before their showdown with Rutgers just over the bridge in Piscataway, New Jersey. Over to Rutgers we go. The Spartans with a 2-1 to one set lead were going, going to their strengths. Meredith O'Gorman with one of her team high 14 kills of the match. The Spartans had a two-set lead, but the Scarlet Knights were able to push it to a fifth set, which saw Becca Williams get an ace at a crucial moment moment to take a four-point lead as Rutgers would go on to win the fifth set 15 to 7. The Spartans are now 0 and 2 to start their Big Ten schedule. And some breaking news when it comes to the Super Bowl has been confirmed that Rihanna will headline the halftime performance. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited for this. We'll be right back with a final look at your forecast, so stay with us.
Coming up tonight on TV6, 60 Minutes starts at 7 p.m. Primetime begins at 8 with Big Brother, and then at 10, it's The Equalizer. And, of course, stay tuned after that for 6 News at 11. And it's going to be another chilly night tonight. Temperatures falling down to 49 degrees. Those scattered rain showers will continue. A couple of isolated thunderstorms possible as well. Going to be pretty gusty too. Winds kicking up to nearly 25 to 30 miles per hour. We get even colder than that. Mid-50s for highs on Tuesday and Wednesday. As our high temperatures begin to rise right back to near 70 degrees. Note, our overnight lows drop down into the mid to upper 30s on both Thursday and Friday. Moral of the story, don't put your umbrella away and make sure you know where that winter jacket is because by Thursday morning you're definitely going to need that one. Did we see a three there? The thirties are coming yeah, around oh again? Word. I had to double check when I was doing the forecast. Right. So don't worry, yeah. it's still accurate, but okay. not ideal. All right. Let's brace ourselves for that. Winter yeah. jacket, here I come. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. So That's yeah, cold. just locate that and I know it's not ideal. It's right. not a good forecast. I apologize. That's all right. We had, did have some good news, though, in hearing that Rihanna is going to yes. be doing the halftime yeah. show of the Super Bowl. You guys were excited about it. Yeah. I'm pumped for it. Should yeah. be another great Super Bowl. I'm looking Definitely. forward to that. For sure. Yeah. Well, that's all for 6 News at 6. We'll see you right back here tonight at 11.